suggestions that um, you know some beginners can potentially make on the uh, Geo Pros. Some of these modifications that I'm going to take you through here uh, may or may not be suitable for your Geo Pro or your E Pro. This is a 2021-19 FPS. Uh, links to all of the products will be in the description down below. Uh, so make sure you check it out if you see a modification that we've done that you like. Uh, mostly Amazon links is what I'll provide, but I'll also tell you if I didn't get it from Amazon where I got it from and where you can get it from. So uh, we'll start outside and then we'll work our way inside. So First most important uh, for me anyway modification that I made was the camera, the backup camera. This is from Amazon, it's the Amtifo uh, brand camera. You'll find it in the link below. This was a direct plug and play. Um, pretty much you take the cap off of the base there, you mount this to the cap that's already existing, and there's a plug on the back of this camera that will plug directly into the pre-wired plug for the Geo Pro uh, and or E Pro. Uh, it's a good camera, and a fraction of the cost um, of the, uh, Gosh, what's the name of the brand? Uh, Furion cameras, fraction of the cost. So I think this is costing Remy like 150 bucks thereabouts. Uh, but again, direct plug and play, and I'm gonna take you up real quick and show you the head unit as well. So here's the uh, head unit. Um, these tighten up, so. Uh, anyway, uh, pretty clear, uh, lots of settings, and you can add additional cameras onto it. I don't have a need for additional cameras, but you can add the side marker cameras on as well. Can't really tell you how to do that. I'm sure there's videos out there, but again, MTFO. You can see right there. Uh, great, great product at a fraction of the cost of the Furion. Uh, works well for us for a backup camera. All right. So one modification that I wasn't 100% sure uh, on that it was really necessary were these little guards here for back behind my, uh, uh, back behind my fridge. Uh, but they might sell these little guards here um, on Amazon. Again, link below. And, you know, when I took these covers off, these are to keep bugs out, but I took the covers off, and guess what I found in there? A wasp nest. So it turns out they are important, and they will keep wasp out, or at least discourage wasps from getting into your, uh, these louvers here and building nests. They also sell these for your uh, heater ports here. You can see they attach with little springs, very easy to install. It comes with a little tool typically, and you'll just extend the spring out with a little tool in there, hook it around the existing little grate, and you're good to go. And last but not least, this is my water heater cover grate as well. So uh, again, super simple install uh, on these, um, and I would recommend them. All right, last outdoor modification. I'm just gonna show you the mount first and then I'll show you how the TV mounts. I put some terrible caulk around this, so don't pay any attention to that. I'm gonna pull that out and replace it. But yeah, this mount, a uh, little inch screws here, and I actually put a rubberized gasket behind the mount. And then of course the other side of the mount's on my TV, so I'm gonna hook it to the side of the Geo Pro and I'll show you what it looks like. And there we go, there's a uh, TV mounted outside your Geo Pro outlets right there. Um, real convenient spot. Uh, again, not a difficult install at all, uh, and the mounts are cheap. So you know, just make sure you don't use screws that are too long. And again, what I did is I bought some red gasket maker from Home Depot, uh, and I just made a gasket in the size of that mount. So again, it's that mount sandwiched over a gasket, and then the screws screw in there. And then what I did was I took some silicone, ran it around the screws, and then I ran it around the top or top three sides of the mount itself. Um, and then I used some terrible caulk. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna change that caulk out just to make it look a little more aesthetically pleasing, but it does work, has not caused any leaks at all in this camper, and we we're going on about eight months now. So um, gotta recommend it. You know, I, was, I started putting it here on this table at first, and it was just, it was just in the way. And this is just a much cleaner setup in my opinion. Uh, next thing, it's gonna be taking a outlet and putting it behind that TV at some point, but that's not for today. 
Uh, last thing on the outside here I just wanted to show you is, man, this, this little box has come in handy for me. You know, I started out with regular toolboxes. This is flat, stackable. You get them from Walmart. Uh, they're really uh, inexpensive. So I recommend it. It fits well in this space here for me. And again, I can buy another, stack it up. One's good enough for me right now. But uh, again, Walmart. That's where you're going to find these guys. And let's take a tour of the inside. So starting out first with simple modifications, little shelves. Uh, again, the link will be down below where you get these guys. These came in a set here. Uh, one of these I just installed uh, with some two-sided sticky tape. Uh, again, I'll put that stuff in the link because it's great. It's just a roll um, and it is very, very secure. And it's the 3M style where you can pull it and it will detach without damaging your walls, but it really, really holds well in the short term. All right, then we're gonna talk about these little pockets here. Again, that tape is what I have behind this pocket. Uh, I will again post a link to these little pockets if you want them. Uh, so we use one here. We use one kind of behind the TV there. And then we use one in the bathroom for toothbrushes, since they don't fit in the factory toothbrush holder all right this has got to be the best mod by far this was the easiest mod and paid the most dividends little mini nightstand um, again these are on Amazon um, and the cup itself you just get it in there and you rotate the cup and it'll tighten up inside your cup holder and this little table swivels but again just gives you a little nightstand um, without having to build something elaborate and it was super affordable as well. And of course, if you wanted, you could put one on this side over here as well, but we don't need one over there. But it also gives you for your larger cups and your coffee cups, as you can see, it's got a slit in the side. Uh, so it'll, uh, these cup holders are so small, that you can't really fit anything in them. But this right here will actually expand the size of that cup holder and again, provide you a table as well. So I highly, highly recommend this mod, super easy. Here's another simple modification that we've made here, uh, Harbor Freight. You can get these magnetic paper towel holders at Harbor Freight. I'm gonna be honest with you here, I don't like this that much and I probably will end up just installing something here. It does the trick, it doesn't come off going down the road, uh, but if you pull at it from the wrong angle, then it just comes falling off and that's just not gonna work for us. So we will change that at some point, but if you wanted something quick and easy, Harbor Freight. So this ottoman is not necessarily a mod, but it is available on Amazon. That's where we got it from. Uh, and it's obviously expanded our storage out substantially. We put a lot of our clothes in there. Uh, the 19 FBS doesn't have a lot of uh, storage space. So this really expands our storage uh, as far as clothes are concerned. So, And of course you can use it for an ottoman. And we'll typically take this wooden, uh, this wooden topper that we've got at, um, oh gosh, where do we, Camping World. Uh, and we'll put that on there and I may just eat my dinner right there. So highly recommend that. Now I'm going to show you the mod to the sofa. Okay, so you know your sofa, uh, if you're in a 19 FBS, your sofa here, this just comes with L brackets and it's solid, like you can't move it. Um, so this little bottom piece here, it doesn't do anything, it's just sitting there. So you can modify it to where you can fold it down and use the underside there for additional storage. I'm gonna show you how I did it and how I personally like it. There are other uh, people who've done it differently than I've done it, which is okay. Uh, this is what works for me. So I'm gonna show you how this works. So as you can see here, you lift up your, you lift up, oh, sorry. <laughs> you lift up your couch and this tucks under there and closes just like so, right? Um, and then again, lift it up, drop it down, and you can drop it down here. And how I've installed this is I've put some uh, little hydraulic rams there, and then I've put some hinges there and there, and then I put a magnetic catch right there. You can get these at Home Depot. These hinges here I got from Amazon, and these are just standard hinges i think if i had a different hinge set up i wouldn't need these little wooden spacers here um but we were in arizona our hardware stores were limited 
and all my old brackets broke off so this was just kind of flopping around so i was like well now's a good time to make that modification so um, but anyway this is how i did it other people have done it differently and what happens is when you slide this in is this lays down you slide this in and these just come up beside it here and this just lays on the floor when you pull your slide in in i think there are other people who have done it where uh, this actually travels with the sofa. The only thing I didn't like about that was not there wasn't a whole lot of center support. Uh, so with this setup, I just feel like it's going to last a lot longer. So this is my next mod that's coming. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to change this into a door. It's ridiculous to have to take the screws in and out of this thing constantly uh, to winterize and turn valves. So I'm going to change that one into a door, uh, but I'll show that one in a later later video. All right, personally speaking, one of the, I think one of the most, well, one of the first uh, modifications that I made were to these drawers uh, and to that drawer. And that modification was just screws. So I pulled the drawers out, all the bracing back inside there, along with the little side rails. Every one of the screws were loose, all of them. And that's understandable. Going down the road, you're bouncing around, those things loosen up. So basically, I took all that out reinforced the rails and the guides uh, with additional screws and tightened down what was already there. And then the framing back behind those, I went ahead and um, braced those up as well. It's been smooth selling ever since. So probably something I need to check every, every now and again, uh, but it's gonna be definitely something you're gonna have to do on these. So my wife's favorite modification is this. A little uh, cutting board, a little extension of the cabinet. Uh, this was very, very easy to install. Um, so you can see the brackets here. These are on Amazon. Got that on Amazon. The only thing that you don't see here that you're going to have to do, you're not going to be able to screw these directly into this side material here. You're going to have to put a backer board. So open the drawers up here and put, or just take the drawers out, and put a backer board in there to where you're just pinching this material in between the backer board and these brackets here. It's been super sturdy for us, as you can see. So um, this is a mod that a lot of people have done out there. Um, and again, most of these mods are not my ideas. I've got them from Facebook groups for Geo Pros and E-Pros. Um, so thanks to who all, whoever came up with those ideas because this is an excellent idea here. All right, other simple mods. These little stainless screws, they look good. They're easy to install. And they come in like an eight pack from Amazon. So again, link will be up there for those. They're all over the place in this camper though, just for, uh, you know, for storage. All right, well, last modification, um, or last modifications that I'm gonna show you, uh, are this little tower here. Um, so this trash can, you can get it in black, white, or uh, stainless from Amazon. It's a nice little flip up trash can, fits right in that nook. And then you've got this tower, uh, this toilet paper holder here. As you can see, you can keep all your toilet paper in there. And of course you can use the top of it there for a little shelf. So again, just adds to the storage. Um, that's been a good addition to the bathroom. Uh, again, just helps organize it. And what I did, I just set this up on top of the little bump out down there and then push it up against the wall and shot some screws. Uh, in through there to keep it secured. I did try to pinch it initially between the shower frame and this and it just kept falling out every time we went down the road. All right, last modification, just a 3M hook. Uh, works really well for us, very strong. I do, I'm always a little bit concerned with these pulling the actual wallpaper off. So, you know, I think keeping the weight light on these is important. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's pretty much the extent of what we've, uh, what we've done to our trailer um you know i'll show you one other thing this honeywell thermostat um it's a direct plug and play super simple the only guidance i would give you is when you're installing it pull the wires out and have someone hold the wires while you're getting this prepped so your wires don't fall back behind the wall because that can be a pain um, but other than that it's super easy to install it's two wires so anybody can do it um and again, you know, the old one's an analog and it doesn't really tell you what the temperature is inside the unit, whereas this one does. And it was inexpensive. I think it was like 40 bucks. But again, I'll have a link to Amazon for that one. But that's about it. I mean, these are all simple modifications for beginners. 
Um, I am going to move into some more complex stuff uh, in later videos uh, and as I modify our trailer. But of course you do all the simple stuff, simple cheap stuff, you do it right away. Uh, so that's the most of what you're finding here is going to be the cheap, simple, easy stuff uh, to do uh, for beginners with, again, E-Pros or, or um, GeoPro um, travel trailers. So I hope some of you have found this uh, useful. Again, all the links to all the products that I can link will be below. Um, so hopefully this helps somebody and um, I'll be posting up some videos um, in the next couple weeks with some additional modifications. And I think I'm mostly going to kind of gear my videos towards the beginner because I came into this completely flying blind. Like there's nobody to teach me uh, other than some, again, useful Facebook groups. There's nobody to teach me, um, you know, what, what modifications really even existed. So you don't know what you don't know. So, uh, but I hope this video helps. Uh, again, I'll post up additional videos coming in the future. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hopefully, if you found it a little helpful, uh, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.